How do you say that one more time on camera? I said people all around the world like dream of going back to America and we're sitting here in the van dreading it. America's real life for us. <laughs> First world problem. Yeah, back to a country of rude people, which who we are. <laughs> Final day in Japan. We're packed up. I'm ready to go. I'm trying to eat where we had in the fridge. We're going to be out by 11. Today's going to be a little slow day. We're not really going to see much of Japan. It's more just like what well, me and TJ talked the last video about memories and stuff of Japan and stuff like that, too. You know, just getting everyone's perspective. I have to spend about two and a half weeks here. Right now, Zeno and LJ, they went to go to the post office to try to ship stuff because, of course, Zeno, he's a He's a big shopper, him and Alexis. So they bought, overly bought too much stuff. Had to buy extra suitcase, still didn't fit. This is what we're looking like right now. All these, plus those three. We'll see what we can fit in this this uh, van that we rented, but possibly we might have to get a another thing too. Like a taxi or something, but we'll see. Um, a driver's supposedly here, so. And this is like our trash. We actually have more trash in that in that bin, but it couldn't fit all this, so. Yeah. We're here ready. Andre's ready. He's ready to go. I'm sweating, I'm trying to clean up the rest of this house or whatever we could clean. Because if we don't get out by 11, they're gonna charge me. So we got four minutes, so. And Alexis is still in there. I don't know what she's doing, but she, I think she's done. We'll see. I'm always ready machine. How are you somewhere am I? A little money I have left on my little money card. Cause obviously I can't use it when I get back. And I can't really take it out. Hmm. My apple juice. Oh, I gotta turn this thing on. Oh. Turn it to IC. Go. One. Still got a few more monies to clear. Dude, finally out. You lock the door to something they said. 50 bags later. I don't know no. if anybody want to do a stupid run thing. I did mine already. Let's check. Dumb traps, stupid traps. That trash? Huh? That blanket? The trash? Yeah. Oh. No, that's my uh, my robe. It, oh. It's too thick. Oh. <laughs> well, at this point, it's on you. <laughs> at this point, it's on you. Sick ass velour, um, velour uh, comfy suit. No, like just like a sleep suit, but it was like the size of that bag. I mean, and I was like, man. Ship it. <laughs> Well, all these suitcases, there could be a possibility we might have to take a taxi also. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking last night. I was like, we're more than likely going to have to take a separate, uh, what should we call it? I just wish you would have grabbed more stuff to ship. I mean, you have to itemize all of it. That's what it takes, it takes long, too. I know, but a lot of the same thing. Yeah. Like, we took more stuff. Well... We here now. Whatever. I wonder if like a cool store before we leave. Inside, probably. Yeah, because remember how like we remember how that Yeti glow? Ooh, that would've been bad for everybody. <laughs> yeah. No, just for her. No, yeah. That, that was okay. like, how you put a water in a suitcase? How are you gonna try to sneak in Disney water? Yeah. To America. Just wants a bottle. We'll fill it up more. LJ made it. He made his ass in. Uh, we left the other two at the post office. At the post office. They're gonna meet us later. But this is our final ride in Japan. Mm -hmm. Bittersweet. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking this morning it was like 
damn, there were things I didn't get to do, but thinking about it, it's a problem, but because I saw so much and did so much other things. So I'm satisfied. So satisfied. And it, it leaves me open for when I come back, if I want to do something else. Like, I have a list now of things that I would like to do and see. That's what happened with us last time. Like, there's things we saw that we didn't go last time. We're like, okay, let's do it this time. Like, we really didn't explore Osaka last time like that. Obviously, there'll be things that I do for personally, depending on who I'm with next time. I will definitely get an apartment, like the one, the second apartment we had, uh, it was right near the train station. Right? right. So like, that's perfect. This one was near too, but it was further, like the destinations were further. Right. Good thing the roads were flat. <laughs> right. And then uh, for me personally, I probably won't do any more shrines or temples because most of them don't seem to be <laughs> completely ADA accessible. And it's crazy because usually it's a lot of like elders in wheelchair that like to go to shrines too. Exactly. I'll be seeing them there. Like, it's like, how would you get? But they be having uh, someone behind them helping. There's that, and then um, I definitely think that I'll, I have to, I want to manage my money better as far as uh, how and what I'm buying. Like, I, my very first meal, I spent 640 on a full meal, you know? And then my last meal I just had, I spent like 2,800 on a yeah. meal. Trying to ball out. You know, I was just trying to spend it all, but it's again, just money management, obviously, in any place. Those, again, those you know, few hundred yen could have went to some some toys or something. <laughs> some more space in here. Also, for, I, I pack way lighter and just keep washing everything. Yeah. So that if I do have a second suitcase, this doesn't happen. Yeah. And I will say, I had I bought an extra suitcase, but the extra suitcase was bigger. So I only still went down to two. Uh, Zeno used the other suitcase. But definitely, I need not mediums. I need, you need to bring extra large suitcases. Yeah. And you still got to make weight. <laughs> It's like a boxing match. Mm -hmm. I think both of mine are overweight. I can feel it, but I hope they aren't. I feel like one of them's overweight. I feel like my carry-on's over 20 pounds for sure. <laughs> but I'm lifting it with one arm, and I know right. I'm not that strong to lift right. 20 pounds with one arm, so maybe it isn't. I'm also hoping too. Like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide my carry-on in the back so they don't see it and try to ask to weigh it because they didn't weigh us our, us uh, when we first checked Got in. Here, yeah. and I don't know if that was because it was a big group or what. But also when I went, I checked in by myself. Yeah, you checked in by yourself, and they didn't ask. They didn't say nothing. Yeah, well, us they didn't say nothing either. But when we first went and we we flew Japan Airlines the first time, they, they made them. I had to clean out this is, and the, this exact same suitcase too that I brought last time. I had to clean it out, and uh, damn near there was nothing in there. Damn near, all I had was maybe some socks and underwear. Uh, that's what I'm just. Wondering. I was scared coming in. That was my big thing. Like, yeah. oh my god, they're gonna be worried about my medicine. And, and now going home, I'm just like, look, y'all, I went to Japan. What do you expect? Two and a half weeks. Yeah. And it's my language. Really. Yeah. Using some cuss words. I need to. Hey, just try this. <laughs> so we thought you learned over there. We thought you learned. No. Yeah, I did learn. I learned while I'm over there. Exactly. In my mind, uh, the buying the extra suitcase, it was like it's gonna be two hundred dollars per extra suitcase you bought. I spent eighty on the suitcase, and then I spent eighty on shipping plushies back. So I spent that two hundred already. So I'm like, I'm really hoping that's all I need to spend. I'll find out. So. I think Zeno spent about two grand just to ship his stuff back. So all the tax-free stuff just came right back in. But like you said, just 10 autographs, be all right. Yeah, he yeah, got signed 10 autographs. He gave some free ones away out here. Mm -hmm. So uh, last night, me and Alexis and Zeno were at Don Quixote. They needed to get suitcases. And then there's these two girls from Seattle. They're getting suitcases too, but you know, they, they've been there for a little minute and they're, they've been, uh, uh, the older, it was like two siblings, the older and younger sister. The older sister was, I guess she kind of understood what she had to do with uh, packing and stuff like that. And then she basically kind of gamed up uh, Alexis and Zeno a little bit, what they should get and all that. And they found some bigger suitcase and then pulled like a huge one out for them. Mm -hmm. And then pulled it out and then they just started talking and then, you know, like thanking them for helping them. And then Alexis noticed that they were holding like My Hero Academia figures, or at least the younger sister was. For sure. And then um, Alexis was like, he's like, oh, oh, My Hero Academia, yeah. I was like, oh, and he's, you know, he's in it. And pointed at Zeno. And then the younger sister, she's like, yeah, I don't want to say nothing, but you're Zeno Robinson, right? <laughs> And then he's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I knew uh, I recognize you, but I wasn't sure. I was just like, yeah, what? So what's Zeno doing in, in Japan <laughs> at Don Quixote at this time of the hour? He's like, no, I knew. I'm just trying to have to hold in my hand. All right. Would you like a free autograph? Or is that, or would you like an autograph for how much is the suitcase? 112,900 yen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. We got noticed at least six times while yeah. we were out here. And all Americans, I don't know, one time it was someone who worked at the, the 
the Capcom store. Oh, for real? Uh, oh, Capcom. I didn't see that. Whoever did Street Fighter. Right. That's Capcom, right? Capcom. Yeah, so they... they the they first one or the second the one? The second one. Okay. I didn't he go to the second one. We walked in and the guy... Yeah, we, we didn't need it, but they sent the picture. And he, they went in and the guy was like, oh, you're DJ. Got him to sign it. So. DJ. Hey, Boom, hey. clock. Nice little ramp here. Beautiful. All right, so we're pretty much here and checked in and ready to get in. And we're here watching all this luggage. See all these? Let's take mine out. My little carry-on. All this is Xeno and Alexis. Yeah. And they had to ship stuff too. Still not enough. They're on the way here. And we're just watching it until they get here. But they're not here, so... We are here. And we shall see what they can carry on and take on because... It's a lot of shit. But, you know, it's for them to figure out, not us. It is a lot of shit. They're buying figures that you can probably buy in America too. You just thought it was cool. You're like, oh my god! I'm like, yeah, they got in little Tokyo too. <laughs> Maybe five dollars more. <laughs> but we will see when they get here. But we're here babysitting. So then, they're here. Ooh, these cases crazy. are theirs. Is what? So these are all your guys's. That's crazy. Is it all us? All you guys. Yeah. Where are those people? Are they like yes. Yeah. Not us. People with the big suitcases. Yeah. I've learned. Now we gotta go upstairs. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what are you doing? So I saw this thing on YouTube. You buy one of these ice cups, right? And then you buy these little fruit ice cream things. I don't know what they are, but they're fire. Like sorbets, like, yeah. yeah little... And then you're supposed to put some of them in here. Or all of them. There's only that many. And then you take this, which is what? Their Sprite. Cider or Sprite? It's pretty There's, much Sprite. Their Sprite, their Sprite. And then you fill it. Sorry, I'm spilling on your suitcase. Are this your suitcase? like lean but not lean oh melting in lean ball. all right and then they're supposed to melt in there while you drink it and keep your drink cold yeah it tastes like grape very nice how much uh, like 400 yen which is four about bucks. under <laughs> four bucks it's like oh, three dollars maybe okay. three something got this beef curry bun they don't play out here with the curry buns, man. Oh. Or curry anything. <laughs> so good. So yum, so simple. Gonna miss it. And a car sweat. And a car sweat. And these two, trying to rearrange some more. They still, they still have to be within weight too. Yeah, it's paying for extra luggage. Uh, you get the first two free, and then the 
Yeah, it's way over. Which one's that one? 29. Let's, let's see the guys playing Tetris here. We were playing Tetris in the damn van getting here. Most of your guys' stuff. Huh? We are playing Tetris with most of your guys' suitcase. Oh, here, there's a... Oh, watch out, watch out. Uh, the, the, the big ones. Let me check this one. The thing about Hanita Airport, they just built this like new like, well, I mean, they built a few years ago, but it's still pretty, fairly new, a few years old. But it's like a, um, like a food court where it's like izakaya style, where you're getting like different food options and stuff like that. They got all the way on to this side too. But for LJ, it's hard because you know a lot of it's sit down. So I am hungry though. I'll tell you that. All right, finally made it past security. They would they stopped me for my bag, and they asked me if I had a little knife in it. I was like, no, I didn't bring no knife. And then we opened up. Forgot about a keychain for someone from Demon Slayer, and it was like one of their swords. I'm like, ah, it was. I think it was Tanjiro's sword. But they saw. They're like, all right, that's cool. We'll just let you win. So they let me through. Now we're about to go find some food at this terminal. We will see. Look, Zendaya, right here in uh, Japan. We got a lot of bougie shops here too, but we're not here for that. We're here to eat. All day air dining. Sounds very regular. At least something decently traditional, you know. Yeah, they got like the basic food. Here we go. Jinroku. That looks fire. Oh, they got okonomiyaki too. Got real sushi. Nigiri. Udon. We got spots in the backside. That's what they got here. Tempura. No, I'm not feeling tempura right now. Meat stars. A lot of foreigners here. Udon and ramen. Let's see here. Dip noodles. Hmm. I should go look. Nah, I'm gonna go back here. Come back this way. We're gonna get some gin roll. All right. This is it. Finally here. I was just going in first. So while we're waiting, we're gonna go to each one person. So Andre, what was the best thing about this trip? What'd you learn? What'd you get? What'd you, um, how'd you feel? Best thing about this trip? Talk loud, cause there's a lot of people. I'm trying to think. You, you, All right, you, well, you asked me a bunch of questions at the same time. <laughs> I'll go back to you. <laughs> Best thing about the trip? Yeah. What did you learn? How did you enjoy it? Man, uh, I really loved the moments where I, I just felt like I was in Japan, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like there were just moments where I was like walking along the streets and just being like, this, like I'm in a different place. And the like, aesthetics, whoa. the oh. vibes, the, the air, the sky, like. I don't know, it was just like, wow, like this is a really a beautiful place aesthetically and like, like vibe wise, I don't know what a better word for that is, but like, uh, it's just like the, the ability to like, the accessibility of like, I can just go somewhere and get food and it's get anime really, yeah. at the 7-Eleven. Yeah, I learned a lot like about myself, like we went to a lot of like places with a lot of IPs, you know, we went to Universal, we went to Park. Disney, and they all had, you know, and then we, you know, we went to all these anime stores, all these figures, and all this, you know, seeing like advertisements for anime on the, on the, on the, the TVs, on the buildings, and it just made me think about like people create these things, and like people put in effort and work, and they create things that resonate with people so much that it's popularized in this way, you know, you like went to Ghibli Park, and I, I just felt about like, 
a man and his team, you know, his, his studio, created these movies that we're now like paying to go experience. Like, and it was very inspiring to be in a place that cares so much about its art in like in not just like physical, but like the artistry of like you know like the Tory Gates, right? It's like just people build those, you know, like just that kind of stuff. So uh, I learned about greed. <laughs> I learned about uh, uh, next time, you know, like like this trip. I just I saw whatever I wanted. and I bought it. Right? I was like, I just want that. I just I went crazy. Um, and I did. Price. I did. Uh, and, and so I learned a lot about like that, about like being practical, time management, and planning, and things like that. It's even uh, with the culture of Japanese people, simplicity. Yeah, exactly. We were very not simplicity. No, simplistic I was here. Very not simple, simplistic. And so I learned a lot about that and about like. Uh, uh, you know, like I feel like the next time I do one of these things, I'll be very, I'll be way more conservative. But I get, I think it's just like my, it's like Japan is my first trip, so I was just like, I want it, I'm gonna get it, whatever, whatever. But like, you know, like I'm like, wow, next time I probably won't do that. You know, like it was very doable. The end process, like I'm like <laughs> sitting around with all the stuff I bought. Like, how am I gonna get it home? <laughs> As you work the next con, you see some of the stuff that you bought here. here. You're like, damn it, <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be double yeah. the price. But I did, I did. I don't regret anything. Like I, I love everything about this trip. Like I love, I love that I can learn that lesson through experiencing it. And I got some dope stuff in the in, in the meantime. Um, so I, I I think overall, like I'm feeling very inspired. You know, I'm very inspired to like create bigger and better and more and be more focused. Um, yeah, because I like spent so much time away from it. Yeah. Yeah. What did you learn? What was your experience like here in Japan? Um, <clears throat> my experience in Japan, at first I was like really excited um, and then I got very like in my head about being here, um, especially like still worrying about things going on at home. Um, and at a certain point in the trip, um, I'm like, okay, well, all this stuff is going to be there when I get back, so there's like no point in me thinking about it when I'm in a place where I wanted to go since I was a kid. Um, and at that point, I just really started enjoying myself. And I think that was uh, when we went to, uh, when we took our little van trip. Um, and we did like, we went to the shrine and we hiked and like, it, it, I was like, this is just what I wanted to do. I needed to be like somewhere where I can get back in you know, in tune with myself, I guess. Um, and I felt like I got that here. Um, I don't think I can get that back home because it's always just so busy and I'm always like worried about something or what, you know, the next hour is gonna be, like what am I doing tomorrow? What am I doing next week? And, you know, everything was planned out so well. So thank you so much, Lynn. Shout out, Lynn. Appreciate you. Um, shut up. <laughs> For real, like, um, you planning everything and like making sure that we, things to do like if it was up to me like I would have just stayed in one area yeah I would have stayed in one area um and it took a lot off of my brain um, you know so I'm so sorry that it was all on you but also thank you because <laughs> it um it helped me a lot and um I like that I got to explore I like that I got to hike I like that I got to be in nature I like that I got to go to shrines and temples and you know see and the culture and eat the great food and realize like how trash the states are like um, and I'm kind of sad to go back because I felt like I was supposed to be here um, so well, you were here so <laughs> yeah like, I, I feel like I'm supposed to like okay like I'm here and you know at beforehand you know how sometimes you're like oh, should I go like I got this to take care of this take care of um, but when I got here I'm like Okay, I actually, I feel like I am supposed to be here, and I'm going to enjoy myself and have fun, so, regardless of, like, any bumps that we hit while we were, you know, on this trip, um, this, 
This is one of like the best ones I've had. Like, yeah. Damn, Japanese lady talking in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's an experience that we all all should should have. Yeah. So it makes you open up your. It makes you think about life at home, life here. That is such a bigger world than, than what we have at home. And I always I always say too, it's like you take this in and you learn, you bring it back and try you utilize what you learn here, yeah. and maybe it can make your life better. Yeah. You got the little things that you know. There's things that they probably do they do wrong here. They're not the most perfect country either. Right. I said that too. Yeah. I said I I was I just talking to Alexa. I was like, Japan probably has problems, and there are probably a lot of people who over glamorize it. Right. Especially like the anime fans, right? Right. They'd be like, oh, it's Japan. I'm sure it has its problems, but like I think there's a lot of things I see in Japan that I don't see about like. As far as accessibility and like mm -hmm. caring about other people, like the intentions behind things, I understand, like I understand way more clear the intentions behind things. Customer service, you know, we were at the we were at the post office for like two hours, yeah, and they, they did not stop helping us. Like they, man bent down to like help, like use his translator to try to figure out why my thing wasn't working. Apologize for like how long it was taking. Even drunk people were apologizing. Yeah. Like, like the drunk people, they weren't obnoxious and weird and creepy. It was just they were having fun and excited. Yeah, to Such the black guy guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, except for him. I don't know what happened to him. I wish you got that on video so yeah. you can insert it. It just came in out of nowhere. His <laughs> eye was just black. Um, black no, definitely thank you, man. Like I would not have done. Like my all. Whenever I think about Japan, it's always just like you know Tokyo, Shibuya. But like I got to see so much more. And experience so much more than I ever thought was possible out there. I think I didn't even know was out there, and like it was, it was an equal balance of like city and like attraction and tourist, and also like getting into nature, and, like petting deer, feeding deer, yeah. crazy. So like that, that's all like because you plan that. So like I deeply like this is a life changing trip, and I do all that. No, I, I, I appreciate you for coming because I enjoy experiencing with people, especially experiencing for the first time. It's like seeing it, you know what I mean? Like let, let you guys experience and see it. Like it just brings me joy to see when other people are like, whoa, you know what I mean? Because like, I like seeing reactions, so that's that's like my biggest thing. Yeah. Oh, you feel? All right. Okay. So, what did you? What you uh, enjoy and what you learn out here? So, one of uh, my biggest regrets from the last time we came was like we didn't get to really experience some nightlife. Uh, I was able to experience that with TJ. Um, we had a great night. You know, uh, I don't know if you had video and stuff. Wait, uh, video? Do we have video? Picture? Some. Any? All right then. I was able you see to, it. Okay. you know, experience that, you know, while going to go bar hopping and, you know, you know, really, you know, experience, you know, what it was like and, you know, you know like they were saying, the drunk people are fun, like, they're, they're nice, like, not, no, no one was weird or creepy, you know, made some Swedish friends, it was, you know, all, you know, all the yeah. great night. Um, you know, one of my favorite things was, you know, just, you know, honestly just taking it all in, you know, like I woke up early in the morning, I walked around, I saw things, you know, I got to see it before, you know, it became like the busy metropolis it is, it's just like I was there in the streets, like, crack of dawn, it was empty, and I got to really see it, um, so those were like, you know, I, you know, those were, you know, moments, you know, that lived in my head, and like I got to see, you know, things outside of, you know, you know just, just there, it's just it's like, it's crazy, it's just, it's there, you know, like those, basically those, uh, those still shots that use in the background of the anime, you know, I was able to see that, like, that was, so, like, uh, you know, what I learned is, you know, just, you know, just, them, just take it all in, you know, we're only here for a short time, you know, make the best of it, you know, I was able to take a solo trip to Costco where I was born. Want to see it? <laughs> and then, uh, and I didn't really even get to like, you know, I didn't even get to go into the Navy base where I was born, but you know, I did get as close as I possibly could. I got to the gate, like, I couldn't go any further. Um, you know, I wanted to visit the Hachiban Towers where I live, but unfortunately, that is also on base. Um, 
But, you know, I was able to walk around, you know, the area, and that was nice, so, you know, overall, a great trip, had a lot of fun, you know, got to see things, and unlike everybody else, I was, I was practicing self-control. I didn't buy all the things that I wanted because I don't need it, and, um, They need it. You know, also, I was, you know, also worried about, you know, like, the suitcases, and, you know, packing things, you know, and, you know, just in case, you know, like, I need to ship things around, I always had to make sure that those and you know, luckily we're able to get everything together. But you know, I I bought all the game. I feel like I bought a lot of games. Um, I think I should play them before I buy new ones. Uh, I bought clothes when I already have a lot of clothes, and I just felt like um, at one point, like I have the money to spend, but you know, I shouldn't overindulge because that's you know, like you know, like if you're just buying things to buy things, you know, just you know, I, I, I just didn't want to get that mentality. You know, it was, it was kind of, you know, great coming to Japan on discounts, you know? Yeah, <laughs> discount Japan, 30% off. No, I'll do mine later, because I don't have to turn my camera around. All right, you'll hear from me after this flight. Okay. Here's, here's, a, here's a little extra, what, uh, best thing about Japan for her. Right, so Leia reminded me, because it wasn't an issue, um, Oh, and the food. The food was amazing. I only had to take two lactate pills this whole trip. And I was good. I was eating dairy every day. Here, take a bite. No way. <laughs> like, I, I did not have to use lactate. My stomach was already, I wasn't sick. She was eating ice cream every damn day. Every day. Like, I was fine. I had butter. The milkiest of the milk. I got candy in my bag, and it never Because it's Wagyu milk. That's what it is. Like, the U.S. is killing us. Just want you to know that. I don't know what they're, they're, they're doing back home. But whatever they're doing, they're killing us. I just want to know So, that's part of Japan. I got to finally eat ice cream without any consequences. Oh, and I was able to get a Wagyu steak dinner lunch. That was, um, like, I don't know how big it was, but I have a picture. It's right. right here. But it only cost $15. It was $15. It was Why didn't you tell me? so good. You guys didn't come to your customer. Because you know it's in, a, it's in a smaller town, so of course it'd be cheaper. Yeah. But That's why you got to go to a smaller town. Everything here was reasonably priced. And fire. We have not had. We haven't had less than a 10 to be honest with you. Actually, less than it. Less than it. We have maybe one bad restaurant, one like what's up par like, all right, the one yeah. in, um, I don't remember, but I feel like we had a one subpar one. Nothing less than eight, I'll say. We have not had less than eight. I don't think I have one. Yeah, I, I, I feel like there's one, I, I forgot which one it was. I remember there was one that was like, eh. Well, maybe for me it was, eh. No, are we boarding now? Uh, no, it's group I'm one and two. Group yeah, we're, group we're all group three. No, so group one and All right, we're on our flight. You know, give us your little slides right here. Straight on this side. We got like a little pillow table. Light thing right here. A little separate if I want to look at his face like this. And if I want to see his face. <laughs> little things to put our drinks. You know what? That's what I'm going to for the internet. Huh? I think so. But you got, I think you're going to have to wait till we get in the air for like, I think the uh, five minutes into the flight. My Pringles right here. Just to remind me, I got some snacks ready. We got our things ready. Ready to go. Because Alexa's trying to put stuff away, grabbing more stuff, trying to pack more shit that she don't need. She's eating the top of his head. And then LJ, you see the top of LJ's head right there. We all in business premium, so it's it's basically poor people with little money because they're sold out of business and first class, so it's all good. As long as we got a lot of leg room though. It's a lot of leg room. Go to soy. And then I guess I have this to read. I had to take it out of my thing, my suitcase, because I was a little overweight, but we'll get back to it. I'll be up in a little bit. Maybe you'll see my, my first meal. All right, so Andre had got a, uh, what's it called? Lactose dinner. I don't know if you can 
here. serve the non-lactose ones first. So he got his food first. I get mine in a sec. I'll show you what I got. So we brought our dinner. Uh, this is ours. So let me read to you what exactly it is. So this is a yakitori stock grilled pork rib over rice with chicken balls and green pepper. Right? That's what this is. Um, the sides, Catalonian tomato toast, Catalonian tomato toast, grated lotus root dumpling, and a squid, a spicy cod roll, fresh salad, this is like the dressing, which is crazy, it's like a little fortune cookie shape, and then we're supposed to get some Pagan Dao's ice cream later, they give me a side of Musa soup also, so it's, it's pretty good. How's yours? Oh, I think the ball. You said it's really good. It's squash. It's like, like, really good. It's like really good. It's like really good. And this fish is great. Um, I haven't tasted this stuff. Uh, the onions and the mushrooms on the bottom yet. Um, it's really good. I mean, everything. I um, mean, it's a chicken salad though. So, oh, chicken salad. Yeah, with the avocados. Awesome. What'd you get? Um, pretty much. I think you need a dessert. Not yet, it's ice cream, but they bring it out later so it doesn't melt, so. Did you get a miso soup? Huh? Did you get a side of miso soup? No. Oh, give me one. You want to trade for the jello? Huh? I don't want no jello, but if you want it here. No. Yeah, you took my miso soup, it's all good. Huh? No, no, I do like miso soup, but no, I'm not tripping though. Like, I, I got all this. It's really thick to me, water it down. I got water and a Sprite. Uh, about to get to eating, so I'll be right back. I got finally landed. Tired as a bitch. I slept most of the way through, too. I went to sleep right after the dinner. Uh, LJ provided me with a lovely gummy. And I forgot that I had it, so remember I was feeling a type of way before I fell asleep. I slept literally the full, damn near the full in eight hours before uh, the second meal. I stayed up. As you know, watching LJ over here with his arm putting on and off a jacket. It is nine in the morning in LA. So we left four at night in Japan. So we left 4.30 in the afternoon in Japan on Thursday and landed 9 o'clock in the morning in America. Same Thursday. 16 hour difference. Crazy. I'm tired, so I sound kind of... Ugh. I'm about to get off the plane in a sec. Just gotta go grab our shit. Back in America. Back in America. Huh? Uh, I hope so. Well, we gotta go through customs first. <laughs> and look at the losers now! <laughs> we are back to beautiful, dirty carpet America right here. Oh yeah. Don't even pick, don't even vacuum this shit. Look at this. Ugh. Look at LJ getting regular American service. Regular American service. 
Ain't no little ramps for you here, buddy. <laughs> I wonder how many times I'm gonna be like, hi. Hi. You know, on the, on the plane, I know that was. I was, like, I was just saying. Like, Zeno need a bell? No. Did he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Watch this weekend at AX. Like, all your responses will be all hi, 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 hi. Long bows for a cup of water. Watch they say I'm actually uh hi. Hi, hi. That was the last time off the plane I said uh Kone. Yeah, I didn't got I know. It was fine, we didn't even go to Starbucks in a while. Maybe not in I didn't care. Yeah, I didn't, no, I didn't try. Remember I went to the Starbucks that she did? Oh, that right. video? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, of the crossing? Well, I go to Starbucks when they got Alexa coffee. Right. Or Excelsior, that's Boss what it is. Talk. And Tully's. I didn't go inside Tully's. I didn't go inside either. <laughs> I didn't go to any coffee shop. I went to one that did the... Uh, my No, we're American now. We just stand here. <laughs> Waste up all the electricity. <laughs> Zeno, did you see that there was two shows on the plane that you voiced on? Really? Yeah, Big City Greens and My Hero was on on the what? thing. Yeah. Was My Hero villain? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they have My Hero. They probably had like two episodes of My Hero, but it was My Hero, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm on the plane. <laughs> We're in America. <laughs> we left Japan. It's from America. Okay. <laughs> These Slurpees? It's from America. <laughs> These rolled uh, taquitos? <laughs> no, they're not bows. They're not curry buns. They're curry taquitos. Now we have to get a California roll. I know, there was no California they don't exist. Yeah, they don't exist out there. Like all the port, that's not real sushi. Yeah. Ours is just straight like, yeah. And they eat it with their hands. Like if we went to their Cora, all, any of their Coras, it is very different than ours. Better, and they're, they're better too. I guess we gotta go to American Cora. Probably got a, they probably got a Demon Slayer collab or something. <laughs> <sighs> Now we gotta go to our American Cocos that we never go to. <laughs> no anime collab, just bad food. Yeah. Just the bad food. At least that bad food with good IPs. <laughs> I, you know what? It's probably better, <laughs> to be honest with you. I feel like they try, they try their best to, to make their American food good. When America doesn't even want to make their American food good. <laughs> Oh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be on DoorDash like Udon? Any good Udon places? Or Udon? No? Okonomiyaki, <laughs> please. I have had the Okonomiyaki out here, but it's nothing. Do you have any Wagyu beef sticks to like, no, we got sirloin steak? Right. <laughs> or asada? Good. Good. You want some asada? Got some ribeye. Just don't cook it all the way. Oh, sorry, we cook it all the way. Tomahawk. We get a hibachi <laughs> plate. <laughs> we clearing plates out there. Yeah. Clearing. And still, it still felt fine. And still it didn't feel bloated. I don't think once I felt super bloated. Even if I did, kind of, as soon as we started walking, it just started like flattening. And I could actually go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I knew it's fine. I knew Public it was bathrooms. When I had that headache that one day, and I drank that Bacari sweat, and it went away. I was like, oh. You know they sell Bacari sweat in, um, like, go to Little Tokyo, all the supermarkets and stuff. Yeah, or, um, the Or, uh, there's a, uh, the, the Mitsu, uh, Mitsu, it's Mitsua store. There's one, there's a new one in Northridge, so you have to drive all the way to Little Tokyo. I had my first, like, walk of life. Yeah. Nothing. But it's not Japan. Not Japan. Wanna be Japan. Look at all these suitcases full of toys. <laughs> Trying to go home. Back to seeing the Lakers. Not doing too well. I'm just struggling bringing up all their suitcases full of toys. Two cases, just, just figures, that's all it is. 
All right, we gotta say goodbye to LJ on camera. But real quick, real quick, what did you love and learn about Japan? What did I love and learn? Um, honestly, loved the food, man. Uh, I knew that it was gonna be like, I had to be picky, but everything I had was 10 out of 10. Um, here, I'm usually trying to pick and choose and fight myself on eating. Um, but I, I'm, I'm good over there. Uh, what I learned, man, to stop being so impatient and rude and shit, you know? Um, <laughs> that shit over there is wild, so. We'll see how it gets back to people already honking horns and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Invasion and shit, so it's gonna be a whole other thing, but. Wonderful <laughs> trip, Parks and Normal, you guys are amazing. Everybody went on the trip, I love you. Anybody seen this, hope you guys learned something as well. And I'll see you guys soon. Let's go. All right, brother. All right, All right. All right. All right. I appreciate you, man. Hit me when you make it home. Final goodbye. Bye. Going home. Now, instead of paying forty dollars for a bus shuttle, we paid two hundred. American and inflation. That's what we came home to. Ain't that a B? Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And this is a suspicious package right here. Headed home. back home and basically unloaded all the stuff I got so this is what we were kind of looking like right here so this is all the stuff I got I just kind of laid it out a lot of bullshit. Um, I didn't buy as many clothes as I did last time I thought you know what last time was last time I was more like fashion shopping now I'm like nerd shopping so I bought more other shit. honestly half of this is probably presents too <laughs> some of them are mine but others is like what other people ask for so but you know let me, let me go through just so you can kind of take a look a little bit so when we was in nara i bought these uh these little toe slides at this like shop that that specializes in them so i was like oh that'd be a cool idea you know babe shirts other shirts little knickknacks books and stuff presents for other people like little anime stuff they had the cause collection at the uniqlo so i went there got the whole death note uh japanese the entire uh collection manga some sega saturn games Candy, what is this one? Oh yeah, because um, I got my PlayStation 2, so I wanted to, you know, uh, grab some accessories for it. Some figures, green tea, other stuff, presents, stuff from like the Ghibli store, PlayStation 2 games, some figures. What we got here? Some other stuff from like the Ghibli park, mostly presents, more like exclusive Uniqlo merch, Japanese souvenir jacket, but it's all embroidered with the Gear 5 Luffy. Some overalls from this brand. They've got some dope little flannel mix pattern patchwork type of stuff. Uh, more Ghibli stuff. Death Note figures. Present from um, a present from Zeno and Lexus. Thank you guys. Sega Saturn. I finally got one. The exclusive Shonen Jump magazines that I got to grab two copies of the Gojo cover, and then they got the Yuji covers too. More stuff from Ghibli. It's a little pendulum clock. Uh, more little anime knickknacks as presents for some kids. Candies my mom asked for. <laughs> Candies from me. Of course, gaming systems, as you can see there. Little handhelds and games and stuff. And then little small little knickknacks. So, yeah, this is my entire haul. It's a lot of shit. Uh, not, as, not that much, but like when it's Xeno and Lexus, if they ever take a picture of theirs, like, yeah, they got a huge haul. So. <laughs> All right, we're about to close out on this video, so I'm gonna say my last words. All right, guys, so it's been about, let me see, it's a rule. So it's been about a little over five months now since the trip. I went, as you can see, like my hair got longer, but yeah, so I did film myself when we got back from the trip on like my, thoughts and stuff like that with japan but you know like we saw like we're right at the end of the video with alexis she had mentioned like i put everything together and put everyone's mind at ease so like at the same time i didn't really get a chance to like settle in and take everything in because i was so worried about getting everything done on top of like we was out there kind of on a business trip too for me and dre's brand um to do shoot content and stuff out there too which you know we did do uh, but you know a lot of the trip was for leisure as well i guess like it helped me editing all these vlogs all the way to this last one for me to really get a chance to kind of like take everything in again 
where I was able to like actually watch and enjoy it too, aside from like having the camera everywhere. Like I, I enjoyed the trip as well. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, like, but you know, I, I think my mind was always like, oh, I gotta film this, I gotta film that too. You know, being a filmmaker, that's how it usually is. But I, I, what I really want was to use this time, like these last five months since we got back from Japan to be able to like take it all in for those five months. And then, you know, leading up to this last vlog video to kind of give my final thoughts of it. So me and Dre went back to Japan back in 2018. That was like my first time. That was like me turning 30. I wanted it as like my birthday trip to myself to where go somewhere new and different without like out the country without family and stuff like that too. You know, it really opened my eyes the first time I went, but at the same time, I didn't really get a whole lot of um, human interaction with people or locals and stuff. They're like, and, and we did talk to people, but I think this time around, we got a chance to really like speak to people and, and see how people are different personalities and stuff like that. Not everyone is like, you know, uh, mechanic or robotic where every, uh, you know, like when you go to Tokyo, everyone's fast paced moving, getting to work or wherever. Cause you know, they are hardworking people but i made sure that like when i went there i wanted to really like get a chance to see people talk to people and have more human interaction this time and like this time around you got to really feel it and see it especially traveling outside of tokyo to your osaka's kyoto's uh nagoya nara and really getting to see how other people interact just like here in the states where like they think la is like full of bougie people and then you go to like the midwest it's like small town people you go go to the south they're really country the east coast they're really stern or something like that too um and you know they have the same type of ordeal where there's different regions of the area you go to you get to really see how people are that was one of the things i love was getting to see and talk to people and being able to communicate and see how great the people are as well like regardless like we rarely ran into any trouble out there i think they can tell you the same thing like there was no type of trouble no type of worries um you felt safe you felt like even if you get lost like you wouldn't have to worry about going down the wrong street alley or the wrong neighborhood or anything of that sort and i'm sure there's you know they have its areas too but you know for the most part it's it's very very safe very very welcoming and homely in a sense where you would hear us constantly say like damn america sucks just because like how great it is over there and or the things that they do it just makes sense but you know they have like their things that they aren't perfect with everything just like we are just like everyone else you know there's things that i'm sure like i, I probably wouldn't enjoy that they do over there but you know um that's why you travel and you learn other cultures and countries what things work that they do in another country that they don't do over here and vice versa maybe there's things that that they do that just doesn't seem to work for you also um but that was the thing that i love is like learning like how they do things over there um minimalism simplicity just like i said um earlier and and how much like people are just you know mind their business and do the thing and just on the go now some of the things i learned out there was to uh be kind um be all right be patient just like lj said be patient um and i'm usually a patient person too but you know there's times where i can you know get a little antsy or get a little impatient about things but sometimes you just got to enjoy things happening at the moment or enjoying the moment and that was some things i tried to do while i was out there was try to enjoy the moment even though i'm like I'm the captain of the ship for this trip. I was on the camera, I was running around, but um, I was able to still be able to enjoy like everyone else did too. But you know, like I said before, I also enjoy seeing other people's joy when it comes to seeing new things or experiencing something new. Part of the trip I experienced already, but most of this trip was like another, another tier of me experiencing stuff from Japan from the first time that I went. But um, at the end of the day, I brought and learned a lot of things from this trip, 24. Um, and LJ already got tickets to go back to Japan already. Uh, I'll, I'm thinking about it. We'll see. I, I said I would go to somewhere tropical beforehand, but this is the end of our trip. I appreciate you guys that even any of you guys that watched this video or any of the videos or anywhere in the past six, 15 videos, including this one, which is number 16. If you enjoy it, like, subscribe, comment, 
and you know this is the end um thank you guys so much and i appreciate you guys for even watching i know there's only like not that many views but if it ever hits you know like i appreciate it if you guys have any questions about japan or anything that i've done through the videos or whatever if you can follow me on twitter at the letter i m y e l l e w n g u y e n uh, and that's the same on twitter and instagram so or x whatever you want to call it just you know give me a give me a little uh tweet or message just say hey i saw your video blah blah, blah just so i gotta know where it came from and then you know just ask me i'm i'm more than happy to i enjoy you know i love japan so much that i would you know try to like educate people on whatever things that they have out there just to kind of get you gamed up too you know i always game myself up for these trips or anywhere new that i want even if it's somewhere i've been before i try to like you know do more research so i you know utilize as much time as possible but um other than that thank you so much i appreciate you love everyone that you know shared or even watched our trip and um this is the end enjoy um i'm gonna do a little quick reel of you know our entire trip right now to close out the music but enjoy thank you